the Swedish space instrument CERO has measured the strong and varied interaction between the moon and solar wind, proving wrong the long-held belief that the moon passively absorbs solar wind without affecting its surroundings, according to a researcher. This knowledge is of great importance to the lunar space environment which is affected both on the lunar day side and night side surfaces, said Charles Liu, the researcher at the Swedish Institute of Space Physics and Human University who analyzed several observations as part of his Ph.D. thesis. The reflected solar wind ions move in spiraling tracks that can take them from the lunar day side, where the solar wind strikes first, to the night side of the moon. In local areas with strong magnetism, the solar wind flow is restricted on the surface at the same time as adjacent areas receive an increased flow. In the long term, this has effects on the surface of the moon and can, for instance, have an effect on the water levels in the lunar crust. The effects can even be seen in the form of visible light, like bright swirls imprinted on the surface of the moon, Charles Liu was quoted as saying in a Swedish Institute of Space Physics press release. The particle instrument Sara Subcarry Adams Reflecting Analyzer that was developed at the Swedish Institute of Space Physics traveled to the moon on board the Indian satellite Chandrayaan-1. Sara studied the solar wind interaction with the moon in 2009 and the observations made by the instrument have since been analyzed by researchers, including Charles Lute.